Okay, so we are told the events A and B are such that the probability of A is 0.3, probability of B is 0.4, and the probability of A union B is 0.5. It asks us to determine whether or not A and B are independent. Now, if A and B are independent, what we know is that the probability of A intersect B is equal to probability of A times the probability of B. This is only true if they are independent. So what we're trying to find out is, is the probability of A and B equal to 0.3 times 0.4? So we want to know, is probability of A intersect B equal to 0.12? Now, please remember that you only use this if you know they are independent for, for sure. Okay, so how can I find out whether this is true, whether the probability of A intercept B is tr equal to 0.1.2? Well, you have to use the addition law. So this is true for all cases. Okay, there are special cases where this is modified, but essentially it is always this formula that we, that we use. So what we want to do is we're going to use this formula with the information that we have to calculate the probability of A and set B. If it matches to this one over here, then it means they are independent. So is 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 minus probability of A intercept B? Notice that I haven't put in this hypothetical probability. You can do, you could put it in there and show that it's not this is not true. But I tend to I tend to work through and actually just solve the equation. So what we're going to get is that the probability of A intercept B equals this 0.7 minus this 0.5. So probability of A intercept B is actually 0.2. Okay. Therefore, A and B are not independent. Okay, so we need to get marks for making this statement. Okay, since probability of A intercept B is not equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay, so let's have a quick look to see where you get marks on this question. First of all, you get your first mark here. Uh, sorry, just switch the colours a second so we can highlight this. So we get the first marks here. This is a method mark. This is for using Actually, let's put it, match it up to the uh, mark scheme. So this is a method mark. This is for using the audition law. Okay. And then you get your second mark for calculating. So this is an answer or accuracy mark for calculating that the probability of A intercept B is 0.2. Okay. And then finally, you get your... Third mark for making sure that you state that A and B are not independent since the fact that A and set B is not equal to probability of A times the probability of B. Okay? So, let's have a look at part B now. You can use the formula in this. Personally, I'm, I'm in the habit of just drawing a Venn diagram. It helps to understand the Venn diagram, and you can see how the formula works. And it helps to use the two in conjunction to, with each other to be honest. So here's A, here's B. So I know the intersect is 0 0.2 so we're going to put 0 0.2 in the middle there. A has a total probability of 0 0.3 so this section must be 0 0.1 so the two sections add up to 0 0.3. B has a total probability of 0 0.4 so that means that this other part must be 0 0.2 so the two add up to 0 0.4 so that means outside the remaining probability to add it up to 1 is 0 0.5. Now, we're looking to find the probability of A given that it is not in B. 
Okay, now if we were to use the formula, this is probability of A intersect not B all over the probability of not being B. Okay, now you'll actually get them at what I prefer to do. I mean, I'm writing out the formula. Sometimes people struggle with identifying what these areas strictly are. So, I mean, all I'm doing is look, going to look on this uh, diagram here. Venn diagram here. Now, what I have is I want to know, I know that this is given that it's not B. So it's not going to be in this circle here. So what I know is it's going to be out of these two probabilities here. Okay, so that means we're going to have it out of a total probability of 0 0.6. Okay, and then what I want to know, what I'm thinking is, okay, so what's the probability that it's A? So which one of these is an A? The one that's in A is this one here. So now, I, now what I know is that it's going to be 0.1 over 0.6. Please don't leave it as this. Please make sure that you then write it as a sixth or fraction or evaluate it as a decimal. It's better as a sixth because it's an exact answer. But please don't leave it as a decimal. This, strictly speaking, isn't an acceptable fraction. It should involve integers. Okay, so let's have a look at where you're awarded marks for this then. Okay, so first of all, you get a mark for using the formula, the method one for mark, mark for using the formula. Okay, so that's just a case of knowing the formula and stating it correctly. Okay, you then get an accuracy mark for taking the readings from the diagram, from the Venn diagram, however you found it, for 0.1 over 0.6. Sorry, that's not a method mark, actually. Let's scrub that out. That is an accuracy answer mark. So it means it has to be exactly that. And then finally, you get your final answer or accuracy mark for giving a sixth. Okay. If you give it as a decimal, you must state your rounding correctly in order to get your answer. Okay. I hope that all made sense.